Excel's main strength is working with large sets of numbers. So let's give that a look so that we can have experience with that. The first thing I'll do is I'll just grab an, a different sheet here, a blank one, and I'm going to type a 1 up in the A1 cell and a 2 in the A2 cell. Now there's multiple ways that we can copy sets of numbers. Um, the first way is to drag and highlight them. You can right click, copy, then you can put them somewhere else and if I type control V it'll paste those numbers. Okay. Another thing that we can do is if I delete the cells out of here so I can highlight these cells and drag them to the right like this and I'll copy that as well. In fact I can go ahead and copy them all the way across as much as that I want. Now what we'll want to do is we'll want to go ahead and take these results and we're going to manipulate the data even more. So inside B3 and B10, B4 here, we're going to take 1 and 2, grab them, and we're going to copy them down. And you'll notice that it starts counting up by 1 all the way up to 13 here. So what Excel has done is it's seen a pattern in this that we're counting up by ones and it continues the pattern. Now we can change these however we want. One way to do this is to take what's in cell number C2, so we have a 2. If we go below and type an equal sign, click C2, and then in our formula add 1, so plus 1, it's just going to be 3. So it takes the content of C2, adds 1, and makes a 3. And then we can drag this down, and it'll fill it out. And if you'll notice, if we go into the formula, that Excel has grabbed the cell above it and added 1 to it each time. We can do the same thing here. Let's go ahead and delete what's in these cells. Um, and we can say D1 equals C2, I mean C1, the one right next to it, divided by 10. And that gives us 0.1. Again, if we drag this down, we can have the math work this whole group of numbers like that. Now what we can do is we can start getting a little more in depth with our formulas. Let's go in here and type the following. Let's take A1, divide it by B1, and multiply it by C1. We can go ahead and drag this down. And you'll notice that we get very small numbers. We can do the same thing but a little bit different we say equals a1 divided by parenthesis b1 times c1. Then we'll get a different result because it's going to multiply those numbers inside the parentheses before it divides. And see we get a different result when we do this. So we can do that with with all kinds of data by by setting up these equations like this. Now there's another thing that's very that's that's worth looking into is that we can grab a single cell instead of multi like repeating the pattern like this. And we can do that by by clicking the cell and putting dollar signs in front of the characters like this. So if we say A1 with dollar signs plus 5 here, so it's going to take A1, it's going to add 5 and make it 6, but if we drag this down, it's not going to use A2, A3, A4, it's always going to be A1. And we can see that if we bop around through all the cells that the formula is the same. So that's some very basic ways of manipulating things in Excel. For instance, we can copy all of this and paste it into that column. 
or anything would like to do. And so we can use this to manipulate very large sets of data. So if you've ever had a math assignment where it took a little while to do a problem, in Excel you can set up the whole formula and crank it out thousands and thousands of times without having to pull out your calculator each time.